I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing, therefore choose life, that both you and your descendants may live. Most people don't realize that God has given them the power to choose whether they will be blessed. We choose whether to go God's way and be blessed, or ignore God and go our own way and reap the unfortunate consequences. God has given humans an amazing freedom to make choices. God does not force blessing on us, we must choose blessing by choosing God and His ways. God did not create us to be puppets, robots, or slaves. God desires a family He can fellowship with. There would be no joy in being loved by a robot who had no choice, so God created us with the freedom and the right to make choices. With our right to make choices also came the responsibility to make them. So we must make choices. God does not make our choices for us. How do we choose life and blessing? By what we choose to think. Our thoughts guide our actions. That is why feeding or meditating on the Word of God is so vital. The thoughts we allow to dominate our consciousness will determine the focus and direction of our life. We choose whom we will serve. We choose who and what will influence and thus govern our thoughts and actions. Joshua chapter 24 says, Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. When you make a choice, you need to express it by your words. You need to speak and let the universe know where you stand. God bless you. The best is yet to come.